How's it going everybody? Student Trader here and today we look at WKH as a workhorse group. Uh, pretty good day for this one guys. Um, up 11%, $1.64. Uh, high today is up there at $17.50. So that was pretty good. We did see a nice pullback right here after hours. We are currently holding levels at that 15.18 or 15.09 level. Uh, VWAP is not on our side. That's resistance up there at 16.24. We do have more resistance at 1691 as well as more support at 1488. Um, I mean, I'm still bullish on it. Um, if you guys watched my Nicola video yesterday, um, you know, EV sec the EV sector is absolutely hot. It's not going to go down anytime soon um, unless the company is, you know, strictly like it's a garbage company, then that's going to go down. But the overall sector is so bullish. Um, if you guys are familiar with my channel and what we do, uh, the Student Trader, we have a Patreon and Discord. Click the link in the description box. We had it on our watch list, you know, since July 2020. Here, since the first spike up, 42 bucks. It's been on our watch list at seven dollars, and here just doubled it within the you know couple months here. So, click the link in the description. Join up, only three dollars, five dollars, or seven dollars a month. You can cancel any time. And you get access to live alerts um, for your stocks, crypto, and options, and of course a watch list for all those things as well. But let's go ahead and break it down even more here. The volume was absolutely killer today. It's 72 million, almost 73 million shares, and that is on the high side. You know, the average is probably around 30 million, maybe a little more because the average spikes here. But um, you know, it's a $15 company, so that is not that bad. Um, you know, granted. We, what we did have 80 million when it was a 30 dollar company, but I, it's not that it's the, you know, workhorse is, I mean, I'm going to track right to set, you know, it workhorse is hot, but I mean, if it, if it would have broke over the 1854, we probably would have had, you know, a uh, hundred, 130 million shares, um, just like, uh, six dash three, like we did too. So. Where can this go? Obviously, that 1844 level is going to be in everybody's mind. That's going to be your first resistance point. And then right when you break that, there's going to be resistance at 1963. So we could see a nice, a nice bounce up if we can break over that uh, 1850 level. Resistance also at 23 bucks. I mean, 25, 27, 28, 30. And then obviously the high up there is at 42.96. Go ahead and make that note. Let's go ahead and make that. The green data line do represent the price target of where this can go. You guys know with EVs, if you traded it, Tesla is really like if Tesla's up, these stocks are up. And today, Tesla hit a nice high and it dipped. And, uh, you know, Nikola had a similar chart. Oh, come on now. NKLA. Struggling. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. NKLA. I'm going to do a video on this one today as well, so take a look at it. Now, I, a couple of you guys on Patreon wanted me to do this, so I will. Um, a comparison between Nicola and Workhorse. I, if it depends, really. Um, technical analysis standpoint, I would go with Nicola just because it has a, I feel like, a better chance of pushing back to its all time high up there at 93. And then with Workhorse. I'm struggling over here, boys. Uh, the highs with their 42. I mean, obviously, um, I feel like it has more volume, but it, you know, it, it did spike up to 37 cents to 42 dollars. That is huge, obviously. Um, so it's really up to you. I feel like Workhorse is less risky, and Nicola is more risky. So for the guys in the Patreon. Maybe go half and half. Maybe go two thirds workhorse, one third Nicola, depending on your risk level. And that's what I feel like, just because workhorse has, you know, that room. And even on the weekly chart, it's good. And with Nicola, I mean, if you bounce up, then boom, boom, boom. But until then, yeah. So stick with workhorse, guys. If you have any more questions, let me know in the, uh, in the, in the Discord. Man, why do I keep on making a mistake? All right, check out the live news out here for workhorse. Was featured in a whole bunch of articles today, which is really good. Um, I mean, you have its own separate article as well. It looks like you have some uh, June 18, $24 calls. We probably featured that in the options room earlier today. 
Uh, yeah, so nothing major with the company news, just overall, you know, quote unquote, mean stock hype and um, just articles, nothing big. Earnings wise, looks like it's going to be an 8-10, so stay tuned for that. The company's headed, well, the company's kind of stagnant. It's kind of been that way since um, April of 2020. But, um, yeah, I, mean, I would like to, well, actually, well, I read that at negative 10 cents. That is negative 18 cents. So we really need to be um, better than, maybe hopefully better than negative 10, if not break even. I don't. I haven't done that much research into the earnings report. So if you did, please comment down below. You know, let us all know up in the, up in the comment. Earnings need to be good in order to push over the 42. Sure, if earnings are maybe negative seven, you could see a nice push to 30, but you really need a strong standpoint, strong catalyst, more volume, you know, the basic stuff you guys need for a stock, you know, no volume, no trade. And uh, yeah, this week, I definitely want to see it push over to 20, maybe even, you know, Monday, Tuesday of next week. But um, yeah, this got it's got to move past 42. Or even a nice stair step. I mean, 42 is going to be heavy resistance. So just by getting up to there, take your profits, maybe get back in at the 38s, maybe. I mean, you do have some support down here at the 36s. Um, it's really just speculation on the overall EV sector and what you think is going to happen with it. All right, guys, that was WKHS Workhorse Group. Any more comments, leave um, questions, opinions, you know, leave them in the comment section. I, I, I tend to answer them all. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Of course, click the link in the description, guys. Only three bucks a month. Cancel anytime. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Click the link.